ladies and germs, welcome and this is Infinite Realms. Today I'm taking a look at this big old thing, the Batcave. Now, not a big fan of Spin Master necessarily, but this I had some ideas for, so that's why I grabbed it. Uh, I'll get down to that in just a minute. Um, I did think the set was overpriced. I got this on Amazon for 10 bucks, so that is kind of cool. Anyway, you got... I mean, the package is so big, I can't really show it to you. <laughs> um, you know, there's Batman. Uh, I did see this Batman movie uh, not too long ago. It was okay. Uh, and this shows you what's in the box there, you know. Da-da-da. Okay, so I'm going to unbox this. And uh, this is going to be a tough review because, yeah, it's a lot of stuff. Hmm. All right. Let me uh let me cut the camera off and I'll uh, unbox it and <laughs> we'll figure it out. All right, so here we are with stuff out of the box. Um, yeah, let's just go through it. We've got Pattinson as Batman and looks like his makeup is all smeared. Of course, these are one eighteenth scale. We have um the Penguin. Nice little cut on him. This I did not get initially. I was like going, what in the hell? I pulled it out, and yeah, he, he, you kind of got to turn it sideways. You can see it's a blade, but it doesn't look like a blade. It's very rounded on the end, so it was like in the box. It's going, huh? Um, got a case with some money. Uh, Lord knows we all need money, but ain't it funny how Batman figures seem to come with villains with money? Weird, huh? Um, got this chest piece, which I thought at first would go on to Pattinson, but maybe it's still only supposed to go here? I don't know. Uh, a helmet, which obviously is supposed to go here. I don't... I'm going to try to put it on Pattinson here in a second. Uh, I think these are supposed to be Batarangs. I don't think they look like Batarangs. And what can best be described as what I thought was a fire extinguisher until I got it. Yeah, I mean, this is Spin Master for you. Sure. Okay, um, let me move these two and get the accessories out of the way. I'll get to why I bought this set in a minute. Now, this is pretty okay, I think. I can see this going into some kind of diorama or something. It's a computer. Um, some of the stickers are trying to come off. Again, it's Spin Master, but it looks serviceable. Um, definitely could be, you know, for a mind bender or um, any one of your kooky scientists. Um, I thought maybe this would, you know, maybe work with uh, <laughs> Tony Stark or somebody, but then, you know, to turn around, it's really cheap looking. Yeah, so I don't know what, this, what I'm going to do with that now. Um, we will see. Um, again, it's okay. I mean, it's a ten <laughs> when you're considering you all this for ten dollars, it's not bad. Uh, even if it looks cheap, it's not bad. I can't remember what the original price was, but I remember thinking it was overpriced. Uh, even for this much stuff, I, I remember thinking it was way overpriced. So when I saw it for ten dollars, I went, "Yeah, I gotta do that." So then we have the bike. I don't like the bike be honest I, I think it's just kind of there you know and eh, I don't know I may find a use for it but I may sell it too it's hard to say I'm, I'm not sure what I'm gonna do with the figures either didn't really want them but they came with the box <laughs> yeah we're getting to where you know what I'm talking about this is kind of cool this is a stand that's supposed to be for the bike, but I think I might use it for figures. Let's see, get the figures to rise just a little bit above without, you know, totally um, getting in there. I'm not sure if I'll use it for 112th or 118th scale. Thinking 118th scale because uh, I think it might go with the main event here. I'm going to move this out of the way just for a second. Move this because. I don't want to give you a good idea of what my idea is here. So, <laughs> when I saw this staircase, I was just like, that I, I want. Because I was thinking, I'm not going to snap it together yet because I need to put this in away. 
this with thinking Avengers here. The Avengers, the core Avengers being down here and being like some of the um, ancillary members from the uh, Marvel Universe line. Uh, thinking along lines of like oh, Union Jack, stuff like that. I'm not sure about it yet, uh, you know, but they blind the stairway and the top here. And I just thought that might look really cool. So that's the main reason I bought this set. That, to me, that was worth 10 bucks right there. Uh, got a lot of other stuff. It's kind of okay. Um, you know, the big thing is this. You know, again, I'm thinking if I put the main Avengers on this, that helps out. And then this. Um, I can see using this for G.I. Joe or something. Cobra, maybe. Uh, you know, that's kind of fun. Uh, so, you know, 10 bucks, and if that's all I got right there, I think that's a good deal. Um, yeah, I can probably figure out something to do with this. And I'm still not sure about the figures, but, you know. <laughs> Anyway, that's a, that's a good look at the back cave, quote unquote. I don't really consider it a back cave. I, I, I mean, it's not really, I don't understand that, that, how they figure this is a back cave. This has a trap door up, feature up here, though. I forgot to mention. I'm probably not going to use it. Uh, again, this is an in the future display. Uh, <laughs> I don't know how, this, how or when this is coming, but I know I will be working on it at some point and you know you'll see it and then you'll know what this is I dig it I think it looks like an uh, old mansion like the Avengers mansion so I'm gonna run with it and see if it uh, works out or not okay um, <laughs> the main reason I did this review I'm gonna be honest that big ass box at the beginning I gotta get that damn thing out of my way because I'm tripping over it it is huge it's really in the way I can't get it out of my way <laughs> I'm just gonna get rid of it the, opening it up and putting it in some smaller container because there's a lot of there was a lot of space in that container too but putting in a smaller container is going to help me out a lot with the space issues uh, yeah so don't leave this thing in the box whatever you do okay like i said i, I mean uh, you want a rating um just for this stuff i'd say four and a half at the ten dollar mark because ten dollars is well worth that at least there you go um as for the whole set at original price i'd say about three stars there you go that's my opinion oh, oh no i got an opinion you know because i'm one of those guys that thinks yeah price does play a part in what the value of what you get is now, i'm gonna be honest this plastic it's spin master it feels cheap but i think it's gonna hold up this is definitely cheap this feels a little more rugged and this is definitely cheap. These figures are cheap. Um, it's Spin Master, man. I mean, come on. Um, you know, I could see somebody using these for customs. You know, I hate dumping on Spin Master because, you know, <laughs> at the same time, their stuff's cheap, man. Um, <laughs> you know, I got to be honest about that. Their stuff is cheaply made. Uh, <laughs> you know, I, I can't say it any more plainly than that, but it's not terrible it's not great um and again i saw the batman movie you know it was okay i see what they were trying to do um i've seen worse coming out of <laughs> coming out of the out of warner brothers so yeah um anyway that'll wrap up uh, this kind of review of the Batcave. cave thanks for watching don't forget to like and to subscribe